is 914, and thanks for staying with us here on Live at 9. For 41 years, Memphis has welcomed legions of Elvis fans from around the world as they pay tribute to the artist and to the man. And every year, there seems to be some new nugget that we learn about the king of rock oh, There's rock. always something new, but in all of our years here, we didn't really know about the three stepbrothers who lived at Graceland with Elvis at the height of his career for 17 years. So with that in mind, we want you to meet two of the three, Billy and David Stanley. Guys, welcome. Oh, thank you. So nice. Good morning. Good to, be here. Good to be home. Man. Let us ask what has taken so long because <laughs> we know you guys have done TV, interviews nationally, internationally, but we haven't seen a lot of you locally. Why is that? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, we've been waiting on you to call us. <laughs> That's why. Oh, you're gonna throw it on. <laughs> the important thing to remember is, you know, we're Elvis' and stepbrothers. We spent 17 years with him, but it's always about Elvis. Yeah. As it should yeah. be. Yeah. We were yeah. privy enough to be yeah. a part of his life for 17 years. We walked into Grayson Mansion. We didn't know what an Elvis Presley was. We didn't know what a hound dog was. <laughs> our mother had divorced our father and married Vernon Presley, so Vernon became our stepfather and Elvis, our stepbrother. We didn't know what an Elvis Presley was, and we just grew up in that environment, of course. a fishbowl environment. We didn't get out much. They didn't talk yeah. a lot about the yeah. family. It was a very private situation. So when you first met him, you just thought he was your new big brother, right? That was how it. Old, how old were you and what? I was seven, okay. and David was four. I was four years old. The, only, the, Unbelievable. the first time I knew he was something special was uh, he picked me up in the pink Cadillac at school. <laughs> And all the kids were around in the car. Can we get your can we get your autograph? And he was signing autographs. And I was just first grade. I said, "What's that?" And he said, "Sign autographs." And he asked. He said, "Would you girls like to have my little brother's autograph?" And they all squealed, "Yes, yes." <laughs> so I reached in my book bag and pulled out a red crown and just wrote Billy on it. <laughs> and as we drove away. I said, are you famous or something? And he said, well, a lot of people think I am. I said, and the only thing I could equate it to, I said, are you more famous than Mickey Mouse? And he laughed. He said, a lot of people think I am. <laughs> so wow. then you really thought he was then, Oh, yeah, right? then I knew Mickey something Mouse was Mickey Mouse was a big stuff to you. Oh, yes, man. <laughs> David, for you, was this the new normal for you guys or whatever? It was. Uh, we, you know, we didn't, Elvis was a prototype, you know, to the world. He was the king of rock and roll. He created this thing we call rock music, and 41 years later after his death, we're still talking about it. Right. About, and about him, about his influence. But for us, we didn't have anything to compare it to. Mm -hmm. right. You know, broken home, away from our father, here's this father figure who picks us up, gives us a hug, welcomes us into his family. Yeah. And so we didn't... We didn't know what, again, we didn't know what hound dogs were or sideburns or rock and star, stars or none of that was. He was he was brother. He became brother instantly. And the great thing about Elvis on that first day, Elvis was very close to his mother. There's yeah. no question yes, about his mother. And when she passed away, it was very difficult for him. And when his father remarried my mother, it was a little difficult for him for that, too. Sure. Now, he wasn't reluctant towards my mother. He, he wasn't distant, but he did have his emotions when they first got married. Sure. Now, I say that to say this. The three boys, we were no choice. We we were there because Mom married Vernon, and he saw that in us, and, and he could have done one or two things. One, get him out. Or two, accept him and raise him. Wow. Yeah, because he was 25 at the time. 25, so just right. got home he from was Germany. old enough to be well, your father. What happened was we got there, Graceland, and I mean, we were introduced to him. We was in the pool room, and we walked down, and he made a shot, and then all of a sudden, after the shot, everybody kind of parted like the sea, and there was Elvis. <laughs> he walked over and said, uh, Daddy, I always wanted a little brother, now I have three. Aww. And he picked all three of us up. So, uh, Mom and Dad went and did some things, and then Elvis tucked us in that night. And uh, the next day, we woke up. He was excited, and he was rushing us. We was trying to put on pajamas. He'd come running in the room. Wake up, wake up. You got to go. We got to go. And we didn't know what was going on. We went out in the backyard. There was three of every toy you can think of. Oh, oh my God. That's that how he welcomed us. Love. We didn't know what a hound dog was. We didn't know who Santa Claus was. We just didn't know he had cyber. Yeah, it was Santa Claus in July. It was insane. Would you have ever wanted to live, David, in your case, and, and, and Billy, I'll ask you as well, another life, or are you glad you grew up with Elvis being a part well, of Well, again, I didn't have anything to compare it to, but looking back, yeah. being a part of history, you know, 41 years later, I'm on your show this morning talking yeah. about the memories of Elvis Presley. He was a great guy. He was a phenomenal entertainer. Mm -hmm. He was a phenomenal big brother. He loved us. He took care of us. He loved his fans. He was just, he was the best ride I took. Mm -hmm. 
Billy, last word is yours. The, the greatest thing about growing up with Elvis is this. He taught us how to love everybody in the world. And that's what I, that's what I learned from him. Y'all are going to make me cry. <laughs> I'm telling Great you Great stories here, Great guys. Stories. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Thanks for having right us. right here in Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, right at home. Hey, we're here now, so next year you can call us back. Yes, <laughs> exactly. We can just ask, just answer the phone, Billy, when <laughs> okay. you call this time, please. He's, he's blocked my number already. <laughs> <laughs> so much this get their books and yeah. get more of the stories. Fascinating story. stories, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us on the show. Thank you. Really mean that. All right, if you plan on heading out today, you can expect it to be.